What's up guys, this is Puerto Rican Boy, and this is part 26 of Jack 2. Hey guys, whatever crew put in that machine, he looked really nervous. Whatever it is, crew won't be needing it anymore. He's, shall we say, not all together these days. Step aside, Jack. Let the game player do his stuff. You're such an animal. Ah yes, this is another mini game. This is actually pretty tough because this does require a good reaction. You have to have a good reflexes and good ref. No tips I can give can help you obtain good reflexes. It's just something that comes when you practice this mini game. And of course, because I played this game at least. Over 9,000 times, you know, I do have that reaction time. And even then, I do fuck up here. So I didn't get a perfect run of this. It. It's a matter of reflexes, and that's just something I can't really explain. Although, if you do feel like... If there's a yellow metal head and a gray metal head, and you only have enough time to get one of them... Go for the yellow metal head. But that's pretty much all I can really say. But the game is actually kind of lenient, and they do let you miss. Like, you can miss 20 metal heads before you lose. So that's good. That's, that's plenty. That's plenty for you to get through the mission. And that's pretty much all I have to say about it. Aren't you glad that crew's finally dead? That fat asshole has been giving me so many tough missions, it's not even funny. The time map! You know, sugar plum, if any real metalheads came to town, I'd bunk them just like I did in the game. Daxter? They'd be all, don't hurt me, please. And I'd be all, too late, metal monkeys. You die screaming. <laughs> know what I'm saying? Um. Jack, I think these trophies are still working. <laughs> Met Metalheads! Metalheads! Where's Sig when you need them? Sig? I think Crew sent Sig on one last mission. Something about using Mars Ruby Key to open a secret door in the Underport. Of course. Come on, Dax. We need to get to the Underport right now. I'll take the time map to Kira. Be careful, Angel Cheeks, and your hero will return shortly. Yep, metalheads are in the city. The wall is down. And some more plot. The Yup, that was Vin on the communicator, and you just heard him get raped by metalheads. He's dead. Well, at least it's implied in the in the communicator that he died. They never gave him a proper death scene, which kind of feels lazy on their part, really. Like I do wish they gave Vin a proper death scene, rather than just implying through the communicator that he died. It, it just seems lazy. And we're in another mech mission. Oh God, not another one. Actually, you know what? This mech mission isn't really that bad. I actually kind of like it. Um, the gimmick of this level is that because you're underwater, you have to step on these little beams of air bubbles because your mech can run out of breath? Uh, how is that possible again? Um, or maybe it will rust? Yeah, if you stay underwater too long, your mech might rust to death. Oh, another thing about these squids, they're not hard to hit, but if, if they manage to hit you, they can take a large chunk of help. But unlike the other metalheads that from the other mech missions, 
it is easy to hit them and you know they're not really that much of a nuisance but if they do manage to get you and they will definitely take a huge chunk of health like I mean that one squid took two thirds of my health so you know just keep that in mind another thing is I show off another orb location now this one's kind of risky especially when recording an LP why did I do that I mean usually when I play the game I die when I go for that precursor orb because well my mech starts to suffocate I guess or rust like here look at this narrowly escaped death you know and all because I'm a kleptomaniac about precursor orbs so, you know keep that in mind you know you might die now these platforms here for some reason, if you jump while these platforms are rising, it gives you a boost when you jump. And I don't know why. It's Jack and Daxter physics, I guess, because if you've seen from other levels, there are certain platforms that are very bouncy. And you can get a huge boost and jump from those platforms. The, you know, I, I guess that's just how the physics are in Jack 2. Oh yeah, and I commit suicide because the game doesn't give you any health packs, so the only way to get hey, full health guy. again is, well, suicide. Over here and start Man, was I set up. Crew sent me down here to open some old doors with that ruby key you found. And when I did, metalheads came streaming in from some passage outside the city walls. Just like they were waiting for me. There's one! Crew's dead. Yeah? Well, he's lucky. Cause he would not want me to catch him alive. The metalheads must have promised Clue plenty for him to betray the whole city like this. Let's get out of here. And this is our. This is another mission with Sig. Someone else is now the gimmick of this level are these blocks. And then there's another gimmick that's going to be introduced in this level right now. So a portion of the level is solving those block puzzles and another portion is this where you're getting chased by a metalhead. Now this is how a chase scene should be done. Alright, I can clearly see the obstacles ahead of me and you know, and it's easy to dodge the obstacles and also get on the platforms because you know my camera isn't obscured sort of like unlike the chasing mission from Daxter's portion in Mars Temple or the chasing levels in Crash Bandicoot you know unlike those levels you know the camera is actually positioned in a way that you can platform and which is a first for Naughty Dog. Congratulations. Great. No time to celebrate. Oh yeah, and because I'm a big time klepto. Yeah. Great. Here comes that bad boy again. Woo! Now, however. There is one issue that I do have with this chase scene, is that if you go too fast, the camera isn't focused on you, so you might fall down. So, you know, don't go too fast. Even though, you know, it's kind of tempting. Especially me, because I am kind of filming an LP. I do want to get the game done fast. But whatever. And yeah, that's all there is to it. Let's go. We're almost to the elevator. Looks like we finally lost some chili peppers. Piece of cake, huh? Now you boys are real wastelanders. I say it's time we take this fight to the metalhead leader himself. What a trophy he'll make. We find a way to juice up Mars' old gun, and then boom, baby, we storm the nest, guns blazing. Hell, 
We'll take them all on together. You and me, side by side. Nothing will stop us, because we're... Shit! So, uh, what's plan B? <laughs> Daxter always knows what to say. Yeah, that's the underport. So now Sig's dead, which means that there's like, we're doomed. Is this, what's going on? Oh yeah, that was a nice little glitch. And that's what, and I jump cut, yep. Now, of course, when the metalheads are in the city like this, you can pretty much get away with doing anything. So you can shoot up all the cops and all that, and they'll be too focused on killing metalheads to notice that you're committing any crimes. So you could definitely take advantage and maybe even steal one of the Crimson Guard vehicles and just go on a nice little joyride with it, which is always amusing. And there's a lot of them parked, actually. I don't know why. Usually it's rare, but in this part of the game, like, you'll see a lot of parked Crimson finished. Zoomers. But if my father's right, and the ring is somewhere in the metalhead nest, how are we going to get the Rift Rider there to use it? Look! Bruder just knew friends would need lift if metalheaders attack. Bruder, you the man! Lucka Balloons are finest lifters in world, but they is easy target. Right. You guys get the Rift Rider to the nest. I'll stay here and defend your takeoff and getaway. Once again, being your friend sucks. I want to go on the balloon. You keep Stadium safe while we prep balloon for lift away. Oh no, here they come. Little haggers! Why a balloon? Um, a helicopter would have sufficed. Whatever. Anyways, you have to protect the two Samoses. Um, one thing the game doesn't tell you is that they're incredibly weak. Each of them will only be able to take around three hits. No, actually, I'm thinking about hero mode. Here, they're a bit more lenient, but in hero mode, they each Samos can only take three hits before dying. Here's a tip. Look at your mini-map. Because, you know, assuming that the aiming is working for you, you can definitely pick off a lot of enemies by aiming at them using the minimap. Just have, just point at any of the purple dots and you'll probably, and just keep hammering the trigger and you're gonna kill all the enemies. That's how I'm able to kill the enemies from behind. And this is actually very useful because, you know, unlike the last the last protecting mission that we have to do, which was when we gave Samos the life seed, there was no map, and half the time, when the guards hit Samos, they got him from they got it when I had my back turned. However, in this case, it's that's not happening that much because I'm able to look at the map and kill the enemies. So it definitely does make it a lot more simpler. Anyway, see you guys later. This away. is Puerto Rican we'll Boy, and I'm out. out. We'll meet near the nest. See you soon, Jack. Be careful. Yeah, Jack. Be careful. <laughs>